would you like to play Flip the Book now? So yes. I have three books. So would you like one, two, or three? And Shannon can't see them, so it is just an intuitive guess that she's going for. One, uh, let's two, let's go with three. one. One, which is interesting. So this is um, Breaking Free, and we only use the back end of the book, and it, it is about your soul, which is interesting. So um, can you give me a number between 189 and 215? Let's go with 193. 193. There's six paragraphs on the page. Which paragraph would you like? Four. Four. Interesting enough, this is fascinating, it's under the heading compassion. So, <laughs> so these are the core essences in your soul. So we all, you know, compassion, kindness, love, all those kind of things. So these are just the ones I've written. I think I've wrote about 24 of them. And it gives you a little bit of um, insight. From, from this book, it's written from the perspective of if you're, if you're having trouble, rem remember this. Remember this about yourself. Passion reminds us that we are souls from a united origins. It is the acknowledgement that life at times is a struggle that can be alleviated with kindness. Compassion is the willingness to reach out intentionally seeking to create comfort for those who are suffering and is done with respect for the integrity of those whom you reassure that there is kindness in this world. This includes reaching out to yourself. I think that's a beautiful paragraph for you. Beautiful. Yeah. Yes. What's it make, what's it make it think, what does it make you think of? How does it make you feel? Um, I especially like the last part about giving it to yourself because when I think of compassion, I, I always think of other people and, and giving it to others. Um, but sometimes I forget to give it to myself too. So I think that, you know, compassion is, is just, it's such a beautiful thing because it's such a connecting thing, you know, when you can have compassion for somebody and maybe somebody that is hard to give compassion to, you know, maybe they're not mm. very nice or they're, you know, um, I think it can soften and break down even the hardest of people at times is that, that feeling of compassion. True. And I think the, the thing to remember for all of us, cause we're all, we're all wired to share our compassion with other people. But it is don't forget to give it to yourself, especially when you are going through traumatic times or in those real sort of fearful events. It's like, you know, treat yourself, I would say, you know, treat yourself like a friend, like be a friend to yourself. And that rem remember that being compassionate towards yourself helps open those doors that we need to look in and, and walk through to keep moving. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. I, I think it's um I think it's a very interesting story and where it's taken you. And I'm I'm glad that you feel that you've you've learned your some some life lessons and no doubt there'll be more to come your way. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Isn't it? Every, every evolving um event. It doesn't matter how much you think you know and understand, life keeps bringing us more and more experiences yes. so we can learn. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a one and <laughs> it done. Doesn't stop. <laughs> Thank you for being on the podcast. I appreciate it. Thank you, Lorraine, so much for having me. I really appreciate it too. <laughs>